Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Coffee Self-Talk podcast. I am Kristen Helmstetter, and I am so excited to be in your ears and in your brain today. (laughs) So I have a question that I'm going to answer today. Marjorie asks, do you have suggestions for caregivers self-talk? I have been blessed to be my mom's main caregiver as she is 91 and has had health issues this past year, but could use some help in this area. I just listened to podcast number 40, When a Loved One Dies. That hit close to home, as with her age, I know every day is a blessing and I'm thankful as well as being thankful for a supportive husband. If you have any tips, I would love to hear them. Marjorie, thank you for this beautiful, beautiful question. Um, Suggestions for caregiver self-talk. My gosh, it's so important. And it hits home to me so much because as most of you know, who have been listening to the podcast from the beginning, I spent the past year or so, my family lived in Arizona with my mom, helping her because she is the caregiver for her husband, my stepdad, and he has dementia. So we were kind of the caregivers for my mom to support her caregiving of my stepdad. And of course, we were there to help with my stepdad too. But really, the caregivers need help too. So I love this question, and I think it's so important. And even if you don't care for someone directly who might be ill or who might be elderly, so many of us are caregivers in many ways. You know, I care for my daughter and my husband, and I just think sometimes we can get overwhelmed and tired and exhausted caring for other people and not caring enough for ourselves. And my greatest suggestion, Marjorie, is that when you do your self-talk, I would create affirmations about patience. I would create affirmations about how worthy you are of taking time for yourself. Because the bottom line is you can't show up to care for your mom as well if you're not caring for yourself. So although we have people in our lives who have needs, we have to prioritize our own needs so that we can show up for their needs. And I know it kind of sounds backwards. You've got someone who needs you and you're going to put yourself first, but you have to because then you show up even better and you have better energy and you have a better foundation to work from and you feel better about yourself and you stay elevated and then you can keep living your most magical life. So I would do self-talk affirmations like, I am worthy of taking care of myself. I deserve time by myself. I am love and I am full of love and I love giving love to the people I care for. And that includes myself because I care for myself. I have an abundance of time to get everything done that I need to get done today and this week and this whole year. I am thankful for patience, and I have patience all around me. I love being kind, and I love caring for other people. I am calm, and I am relaxed when I care for other people. I am an amazing woman, and I have strength and energy and overwhelming love and patience to care for other people. You know, things like that, Marjorie. So I would I would use your mom in the affirmation. I would say like, I'm an awesome caregiver for my mom and I have time to care for her in patience and I am graceful with myself and I take time for me. And you could even think about some specific instances. Like I know my mom has struggled with various things helping my stepdad and it's really great to be detailed and to use examples. So if there was an example of something that you got frustrated with, in the caregiving scenario, or if there was something you wish you had more of, whether it's finances or time or patience, infuse affirmations about that into your self-talk, into your caregiver self-talk to make it more meaningful for you. You want to create a picture in your mind of how you want to think and feel, how you imagine the greatest caregiving scenario to be, and create affirmations about that picture in your mind. You know, maybe it's even something like, I dance around the house and twirl and swirl as I care for my mom and everything is easy and effortless. Things like that. Or caring for loved ones is easy and I'm at the top of my game and I take charge and I make it happen, right? Like maybe as a caregiver, you have to be in charge of medical appointments. Maybe you need to be organized, right? Like my mom's got to be really organized when she takes care of my stepdad and all of his medications and all of his doctor's visits and all that stuff. 
And it's great to have affirmations about how organized you are and how you wake up every day rested and full of peace and ready to take on the day. And you can always be like extra strong and powerful. You can be like, I'm a badass. When I take care of other people, I get the job done. Woo! You know, so get creative with it. Get detailed with it. Have some specific affirmations. Have some general affirmations. And that's how you can create the most amazing caregiver self-talk. So I'm excited about this question, Marjorie. Thank you so much. It's so important. And I loved answering it. And thank you for mentioning podcast episode number 40 that I did when a loved one dies, because that's just so many good bits of information in there, advice for how to navigate that kind of experience in life when a loved one passes away. So I have more questions coming up in future episodes that I will address. Until then, I'm wishing all of you the most amazing week this coming week. We are um, well into December now. We have a couple of weeks left until Christmas. Check out the Snow Globe self-talk that I recently recorded on last week's episode. And we're going to be putting up a YouTube link where we have a video of my favorite snow globe with me reading the snow globe self-talk with the music in the background. So you can go to YouTube and check that out. We'll put a link in the show notes to this episode because it's just like, it's kind of mesmerizing. Go on there, click it, watch it, have a cup of coffee while you do, and just Take time to relax and enjoy this amazing time of year. Okay, everybody, I'm wishing you an incredible week. And I'm sending you really, really, really extra big Florida Gator hugs (laughs) to you. And sloppy cosmic kisses. Now go live your magical life. Ciao, ciao.